How about balancing those, uh, and what are some of the challenges there, and how have you uh, been able to succeed at both? Anyway, for balancing my two, I, for me, I've always been somebody who really likes to get involved. I know as fellows, that's really all of us. So I kind of jumped on every opportunity right off the bat, um, academic and with BMS. So for me, it was a little bit of a struggle at first to find my balance. I really wanted to give a lot to Rutgers because it is my alma mater and I'm very passionate about teaching and giving back to the students. Um, but also, you know, obviously being cognizant that BMS is my primary role and that that is ultimately where I want to get a job and being very aware and um, dedicated to that as well. So I think as I've gone along and I quickly learned this, that it's okay to dedicate that time to your academic affiliation. That you don't feel bad about spending an hour or two, um, a day or a week working on these projects because that's a big part of our fellowship. Everybody does understand that. How do we know whether we'd be giving too much or too little responsibility and how to, how to manage through that? I think this one, it's definitely coming from college. You know, we're used to being the top dogs. We're used to being very involved in our organizations. And then we you know, are the brand new people. We are at the bottom of the totem pole. Um, and a lot of times we know the least of anyone in our groups. Um, so I think it's, it's definitely a process to you know, prove that you deserve the responsibility you get. And the best advice I think I can give is just communicate. You know, at the very beginning, you know, I was saying, you know, I want more, I want more, I want to do more. And my preceptors were like, yes, we want you to do more too, but there's some basics you have to learn first. And there's, you know, in some ways you have to prove yourself as an individual before they're going to put you in those situations. Um, so I would just say communicate. You know, let them know what you want. Let them know the opportunities that you would really like to go after. And you know, ideally, they'll help you achieve those. But it might not be on day one. It might be a process. I think that if you have too much responsibility, I think communication is key. But I think the biggest skill as fellows that we need to learn, and it takes time, is when to say no to various projects. And when. I think that's a hard skill to learn, and it takes a long time. And um, you never want to say no to your preceptor if they ask you to do something. But I think having that open communication and that relationship with your preceptor allows you to say no when you have so many um, other priorities on your plate. 